Hey, what's up guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 1122 of One Piece today. And it looks like um, there's some big news related to um, uh, One Piece. Apparently, they're going to take um, quite um, a long break. It's going to be um, six months. So, after this episode, um, the next one will only air in um, April 2025, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's uh, like really big, of course. It's uh, also very surprising. I wasn't expecting um, them to take uh, such um, a long break. There's been uh, some uh, like short ones, like a week or so um, here and there, um, but this time. Um, they're really taking um, a long time for themselves. So it's um, something that I really can't um, complain um, about because I know that these guys have been working um, quite hard to deliver some really good episodes um, every week. Um, and um, even though they're, they are taking this break, um, I think that they're still going to... Um, to work on the production of the of the episodes, right? But uh, since they won't have to um, release it every uh, week, uh, it means that uh, at least they won't have um, this pressure, right? So they will have more time to to work on details and stuff, to to even um, increase um, to increase even more the quality of these episodes. So. Of course, uh, I'm um, a bit sad because uh, it's going to be a long time without um, seeing uh, like more development, and uh, like I'm so excited about um, the part we are at uh, right now that it's going to be quite painful to to have to wait um, such a long time. So even um, even with this, I mean. Usually, time just flies by r really fast, so it's not like. Uh, I mean, it's still six months, of course, but uh, when we realize we are already at that point. So what I'm trying to say is that um, like, just need to, um, to wait and um, eventually we will get there. So in the meantime, I'm also going to, um, to um, watch um, the movies and um, I believe there's still um, uh, like a, some sort of a special episode next week. So I'm going to watch... Um, that one, and uh, I also believe that they're going to sort of remake um, the Fishman Island arc, right? I'm not too sure about um, the exact details, but uh, I think they're going to to pretty much uh, just... Um, I'm not too sure how to explain it, but it's uh, pretty much uh, just making um, it like with uh, better quality, I'm sure, but also um, to compress it uh, um, like a little bit, right? To not have, um, like, I don't want to say fillers or something, but uh, to pretty much just um, put all the important stuff in each episode and um, have uh, less episodes showing um, that uh, the entire arc, right? Again, I'm not too sure about the exact details. I think it's uh, something uh, like this. Um, and um, I'm not too sure if uh, I will react to, to those episodes because I don't think... Uh, they will change anything um, story-wise, at least. It's just uh, this uh, uh, remastering of the of like the, the episodes themselves. But uh, I'm probably still um, going to watch them. Of course, if you guys want me to react to it, uh, I will probably uh, do it. Um, but yeah, right now, again, just really surprised by this news. I wasn't expecting um, something like this, but I hope that they take this time um, to, um, like, not exactly relax, of course, because, uh, as I said, they're probably still going to keep um, uh, working, but um, since they won't have this pressure, it's um, going to be better for them. So, I'm happy that they decided to do something like this. It was really, really bold of them, considering uh, the popularity of this anime, of course, and how people, um, like, really want to watch um, each episode. But uh, I have also seen... Um, the the community in general they have been asking um, like it's like this is something they ask the the producers to um, to do right to also like take this break because they know that they have been working uh, really hard and uh, there was also like these concerns related to um, Oda's uh, hell, so it's good that this is happening in general. Of course, uh, we won't get uh, new episodes, but I'm sure that um, in April, uh, if, uh, like, hopefully that will really be 
the release time that they won't uh, delay it uh, even further but uh, i'm sure that uh, when they finally air the next uh, episode it's going to be like really good i'm just um, of course i have some i expectations i don't know if i should but uh, I mean, if they're doing this, um, I I want to believe that um, there's going to be some really big changes um, during the next episode, like in April. Um, but yeah, again, just um, it's a matter of waiting. Right now, I just really can't wait to to watch this episode. I'm not too sure what um, they're going to to show. I don't know if they did something special during this episode, considering the decision that um, they just made, or if it's just going to be your usual episode, and uh, then uh, the special one next week, we'll talk more about um, this um, decision. Um, but yeah, again, just really can't wait to, um, to watch the episode. So, hope you guys are ready, and let's do it. Oh, Amazon Lily. Is this still related to what happened with Boa Hancock and Blackbeard? So yeah, it's pretty much the continuation of that, right? Oh, it's when Kobe got taken, right? Hmm. You're finally going to show how it how it happened. Man, this decision though. Kobe is the man. But they still took some of them, right? I'm not too sure if they ended up just taking everyone. Lesson one. Oh, then they're going really far back. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, that's still something to hear Kobe say this. Hmm. My god. I mean, that's like the logical option, I guess. But what he said, like he would trade his life for theirs, that's something. The title. Impact too. Hmm. Oh, we back to present time. Yeah, there was that crazy thing, like this island guy. It's about to. Yeah, this. How can they? How can they stop him? so crazy that someone has a power like this.
I mean, it's... Like shooting a building. But a much bigger one. It's about to happen. This is not your fault. Oh damn, it really happened! Or is it... Is it just Kobe like... It's Garp. I'm quite worried about the garb, to be honest. I mean, you better not die. Damn. It just went. How are they going to do it? Like destroy his hand? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe they, they can use these guys following them. It's going to cut it. Oh my god. That's not good. I mean... Same, but I mean, you're like part of the problem right now, so. And even like this, he's still. Holy! Is he going for the. His real body? Oh, he's going to do it again. 
Oh, it's different. Galaxy Divide. The other one had a different name, right? Damn. Just like that. And Garp is so impressive. Holy. Even though I know that he is this strong, actually seeing him in action <laughs> still mind blowing. I'm still worried about his injury though. It's not like he can keep going like this forever, so. Was that enough to. I don't know what that implied, but for a moment I thought Kobe was going to suddenly use uh, the Conqueror's Aki. That would be something. This guy is still... What is Kobe going to do? Oh, he's doing the same thing! Damn! And this was... Has he been doing this? All this time? Man, that's something. Maybe he's actually insanely strong now, but needs... I'm not too sure how to put it, but... Needs like something to trigger him like this. To unleash his power. It's like maybe he's not even aware how strong he is. Not too sure, just expecting something crazy now. It was like the same thing! But blue! Same thing that Garp did with the Conqueror's Aki, right? Like he's unlocking something. Not too sure, but that's how it looked to me. It's just falling right now, but... Is he going to try and punch it and it will be like... Insanely strong because of the training?
Man, this build-up. I'm really expecting something so crazy from him. Oh, a name! Honesty Impact is using it, right? Damn, look at that! It's demolishing the wall! Damn! Okay, that's the Conqueror's Aki for sure. Those effects? My god, so Kobe also has it! Like this, all this training! Man, I never expected him to... To actually be able to do this. Someone was going to take care of it, right? The green earth guy? Yeah. Garp asked him to do that. It's like a spider web. Glorp web. Oh, it's like before. Man, this... This bond between the two of them never gets old. Man, this changes a lot. Kobe is going to... <laughs> Be quite respected after this, in terms of, like, people not messing with him. Oh, and maybe something more. <laughs> he better not stay there. Wait, don't tell me he's doing the same thing that... He's doing the same thing that Kobe said before, right? During that lesson. Man, that's... There's so much to this moment right now. Just like what he's doing. Damn. It's quite obvious that Kobe is going to be Garf's successor or something. Wait, is he? Man, don't tell me he's going to die.
Man, this is... His appearance. It's been a while since we we saw these guys. It's over. Man. There's so much going through my mind right now. Like, it was such a beautiful moment. Like, everything that this moment meant for um, not just Garp and Kobe, but in general for, like, the Navy for everyone. It was definitely something. But then when you think about um, what's happening with Garp, it's it becomes really... Like, makes me really worried. I don't even know what else to say. I, I, I just want Garp to, to not die, right? Like, I really like this guy. It's really honorable what um, he just did for Kobe. He was... There's just, like, this, um, this really beautiful um, story. I really love the way that they showed everything during this episode. Like, they started showing um, that lesson and stuff and how Kobe was, um, like giving his uh, decision about the situation that Garp um, uh, created. And then, um, like, Kobe said that thing, like, he would trade, um, not entirely, like, not exactly his life, but he would trade places with both the baby and um, the old man. Um, and then Garp was really pissed, like, that was not the, the decision um, he was looking for, like, he... He has this different view on things, like saving um, the the young ones, like they are the future, so he's really, like, he really wants that weapon, like if he, if he has to trade his life for the future of a younger one, he's going to gladly do it, and that's exactly, like, he, he said that to Kobe back then during that lesson, and now he's literally doing it, like saving um, the baby, um, and uh, leaving uh, the old man, so like it's just it's just something like when uh, you start thinking about all of these details, it makes uh, like the this whole moment just uh, so much uh, like more beautiful. Like this uh, this whole meaning, I'm not like um, I don't know what else to say about it. I'm just really amazed by everything that they showed. But uh, there's still like this side of me, like uh, that's really worried about uh, Garp and what could happen to him. I really hope that this doesn't mean that um, he's going um, uh, to die. I'm not going to believe that uh, uh, he will die because uh, they didn't show it happening, of course. So if they didn't show, I'm never going to um, believe it. Um, and uh, the fact that, um, of course, that like that ice coming from um, from like a uh, his chest, of course it's um, it's really bad, it's not, like, makes me, I'm not even sure, like, how to say it, but it's like, I know that uh, he has this, like, really big injury, but the fact that uh, Aokichi is uh, still using his power to cover his whole body in ice makes me wonder if um, something like... Uh, like, uh, maybe the fact that uh, you will be inside of this ice, maybe it will mean that uh, you will be preserved or something, that the injury... Like, this will stop the bleeding and stuff, so maybe um, the fact that he is, um, like, um, uh, frozen right now, it will mean that um, he won't die, at least uh, not anytime soon, like, during this. It's uh, just what I'm trying to believe, of course. There's no way for me to be sure about this, and it's also going to take a long time for me to even um, learn about it right now, because now that I know that, that there's going to be this uh, really long break, um, it's even... Uh, it's even, like, it, it makes things even worse, right? It's like this uh, sort of a cliff anger. I'm going to be here wondering about it until they, they release the next episode in six months. So yeah, again, just... Um, 
I just really love this episode in general, like uh, seeing Garp still being able to do that big attack and then um, Kobe, like this revelation about um, about Kobe, how he's been doing the same thing that uh, Garp and Aokiji did uh, uh, when they were younger, doing that training and stuff, like punching uh, um, that ship. Like, it's, it's crazy how he's also been doing it. I'm not too sure about the full details, but... Uh, he was talking about, um, like, he had to do it uh, 100 or 200 times harder, like, in order to become um, uh, stronger. But uh, I don't know for how long um, he's been doing it. Like, they showed him when he was, um, like, really young, probably... I don't know how, how long after um, he joined the Navy, but probably not that long. He was still, like, pretty young. Um, and... Um, I just don't know, but I want to believe that he's been doing it um, every day, right? Like, he probably had the same, um, like, um, not schedule, but, um, like, pretty much the same thing that uh, Garp and Aokichi were doing. Like, the same, like, of course he wasn't doing it at the same time, like, that's impossible, right? But uh, he probably followed the same, um, the same uh, thing, right? I'm not too sure how to exactly say it in English. Um, but yeah, it's just impressive how he did it, and now at the present time, he just like fully unleashed um, the the culmination of this training, like uh, this. Uh, I think it was like honesty impact or something. Not too sure if it was impact. I'm thinking a lot about impact because of the title, how they said impacto or something. Um, but. Um, like, he just did it, and uh, he, he actually has the Conqueror's Aki as well, right? I hope I'm not mistaken about this, but I mean, all of the, the effects, when I see that, uh, like, those red and black effects, like Thunder, um, it always makes me think of the Conqueror's Aki. So, like, at first it felt like he was doing, um, like, the effect was literally the same as uh, the one when Garp um, uses his attacks, uh, but then there's also like this Conqueror's Aki side to it, so it's just a really big revelation about Kobe, really makes me like, impressed about him, and I'm sure that uh, he's going to be, like, he's going to become quite popular after this, right? At least uh, in the Navy and probably in the world if they learn about uh, what he just did here. I'm not too sure if that's going to happen, but... Uh, I mean, the ones who were here, the ones who got literally saved by Kobe, they're going to be quite... Uh, like, there's going to be this moment, right? Them looking at Kobe maybe a bit differently from now on, thinking that uh, he is actually insanely strong, and uh, probably also seeing um, like a bit uh, of Garp um, in him um, as well. I mean, at this point, he's, he's literally going to be the successor, right? It's like uh, Master and Puppil, it's... It's, it, it's just uh, meant to happen, but when I say this, it makes me worry about Garp um, once again, because like he's uh, of course already old, it's not like uh, he's going to live forever, but um, I really don't want uh, it to happen now, right? I don't want him to die, I want to keep seeing more of Garp, he's been like such a... Um, like every time he's on screen, it's, it's also... It's always uh, so much fun, like the way that uh, he behaves and stuff, his personality in general. So yeah, it would also, I mean, it would suck if it happened, of course, but uh, it, it would also be really bad for, for Luffy, right? Like, he already lost um, Ace, like losing uh, Garp would also be quite uh, a big hit. So again, I just don't want to think about it, I don't want it to happen um, in the end. Um, but yeah, again, just really impressed by this episode, and now I'm going to have to wait um, a really long time for um, the continuation of this story. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to to use this time to to catch up with the movies. I think I have uh, like five to watch. I think I stopped on um, uh, the tenth uh, tenth movie or something. So I have um, until. Um, uh, movie 15 to um, uh, to watch um, so yeah I'm going to to do just that and uh, hopefully I mean I don't know how to put it but uh, it's like I want uh, these six months to pass 
like really fast so I can watch uh, more. But yeah, like in the end, like I said before, I just need to not think too much about it and uh, like when it happens, um, it happens. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit painful. Also, considering the fact that um, they haven't shown um, anything um, about the Straw Hat Pirates for a really long time. I don't even know how long, but probably about um, two months, right? Without them showing um, anything related to what's happening at the Egg at Island. They have been showing this backstory, uh, like... Like this flashback of what happened at the reverie, and then also this situation at the Beehive um, Island. So yeah, they like it's not like they have been wasting time. That it's not it's nothing um, like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm sad that they haven't shown anything of um, the Straw Hat Pirates, uh, especially now that there's going to be um, this big break. So again. It is uh, what it is. Um, we can just hope that um, this will be for the better. I, I at least uh, want to believe that. And again, just um, can't wait to um, like for it to happen, for them to air the, the next episode. Again, I'm going to watch um, the next week's uh, one. It's, uh, I believe, um, going to be a special one. I'm not too sure about the details of it. I don't know what uh, is going um, to be shown during um, that episode. But yeah, I'm looking forward um, to it, and please uh, also let me know what you guys think about um, this um, a decision from um, a Tohei. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's, uh, again, it was surprising to me, and I want to believe that um, it was also um, really surprising um, to most um, of um, uh, you guys. So yeah, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please... Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.